Our children should never be stunted. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video on malnutrition in children. In this video, we will be discussing what malnutrition is, how it affects children, and what can be done to prevent it. Firstly, what is malnutrition? Malnutrition is a condition that arises when a person's diet does not provide them with the nutrients they need to grow and maintain their health. Malnutrition can take many forms, including undernutrition, overnutrition, and micronutrient deficiencies. When it comes to children, malnutrition can have severe consequences. Children who suffer from malnutrition are at higher risk of developing infections, experiencing developmental delays, and even dying. In fact, malnutrition is responsible for 45% of child deaths worldwide. So, what are the causes of malnutrition in children? One of the main causes is poverty. Families who live in poverty often cannot afford to provide their children with a nutritious diet, which can lead to malnutrition. Other factors that can contribute to malnutrition include poor sanitation, lack of education about nutrition, and limited access to health care. Now, let's talk about the different types of malnutrition. Undernutrition is the most common type of malnutrition in children. It occurs when a child's diet does not provide them with enough calories or nutrients, such as protein, vitamins, and minerals. Undernutrition can lead to stunted growth, weakened immune systems, and even death. Overnutrition, on the other hand, occurs when a child's diet provides them with too many calories or nutrients. This can lead to obesity, which is a growing problem in many countries. Children who are overweight or obese are at higher risk of developing chronic diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease, later in life. Finally, micronutrient deficiencies occur when a child's diet does not provide them with enough vitamins and minerals, such as iron, vitamin A, and iodine. These deficiencies can lead to a range of health problems, including anemia, blindness, and impaired cognitive function. So, what can be done to prevent malnutrition in children? One solution is to provide families with access to nutritious food. This can be achieved through programs such as food banks, school feeding programs, and nutrition education initiatives. Improving access to health care, clean water, and sanitation can also help prevent malnutrition. In addition, it is essential to educate parents and caregivers about proper nutrition. This includes teaching them about the importance of a balanced diet, how to prepare nutritious meals, and how to identify and address signs of malnutrition. To conclude, malnutrition in children is a severe problem that has far-reaching consequences. By providing families with access to nutritious food and educating them about proper nutrition, we can help prevent malnutrition and improve the health of children worldwide. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been informative. You may give us a praise by hitting thumbs up and hit subscribe button below. Thanks again. Please share this video to your friends.